Hey guys, Paul from CP Addict here. Um, as most of y'all know, we just went to Carlisle 2019 and uh, Seth turned me loose with the GoPros on my own and expected to get some great footage, but here we are with what I brought back to him to work with. So, gonna give y'all my interpretation of Carlisle 2019 and some of the stuff we saw and kind of give you some ideas of some of the cool trucks that are there and, and things to be seen and friends to be made and, and things like that along along the trip. So stay tuned for some pretty cool footage of the event in itself. So obviously I wanted to get as many OBS Fords in as I could. So I, I did a walk around of the show. Uh, as you can tell, you know, with my GoPro on a stick looking like I got Tourette's or something with the shakes or not Tourette's but uh Parkinson's here with the shaking going on but I tried to get as best footage as I could of of some of the more unique vehicles and and things like that and customer rides and whatnot so this is the the the, the technically the show field this is where everybody gets judged and right as I took this video or or as this video was coming up, we had just gotten a huge rainstorm, so everybody's trucks got soaking wet. And as you can tell, everybody's out polishing them up, getting them back shiny again after the rainstorm, because it it poured on us for probably an hour, soaked the whole fairgrounds. So we're finally kind of coming up to some more of the the OBS stuff and you can see this really nice bull nose here he's getting it all polished and slicked back up after the storm what's crazy up there is is the amount of of trucks that rust so when you see shiny show field trucks it's it's pretty cool because there's survivors if you will in an, in an area where these trucks were not meant to survive in Again, sorry for my very, very poor camera skills. Learning on the fly here. So not only is Carlisle about the trucks, it's also about the people and meeting and talking and hanging out and making new friends. So every year we try and bring a little bit of Texas to, to up there and we cook tacos and uh, Mexican beans and whatnot because Lord knows they don't have any good food in the Northeast now wait for the fan mail to come in on that in three two no nah, I'm just kidding uh, we just like to have a good time everybody brings their own favorite side dish and just hang out and have a good time under our tent and talk trucks Josh Colester of 30 diesels brought his drone out and actually took some really great footage of the OBS attic section of uh, Carlisle typically we're uh we're in first place with the number of participants and trucks at Carlisle. This year we came in third place, which is not bad at all considering uh, considering all circumstances. That's a lot of OBS trucks in one spot, so it's still pretty cool to be able to bring home third place uh, in an event as large as Carlisle All Truck Nationals with just a very specific truck type. Um, but it's, it's always a good time no matter what. Doesn't everybody love a good Bronco? Saw this one at uh, Townsend Bronco Meet when I took my Bronco there this last year along with the blue one. So, figured I had to get some shots of them in while, while I was at the show. I mean, who can pass up Broncos? So, here's the the main OBS section show field, uh, the trucks that are in high competition that are OBSs, I guess if you will. A lot of really cool trucks there. All the different styles and flares that people have for their vehicles are, are, are cool to see, uh, especially, you know, out in their element. These were all on the judging field for for trucks. This one I thought had a really cool paint job on it here.
This is an OBS Addicts members truck here, both of them together. The, that's Bill Wentz's truck. He always pours a lot into his truck every year for competition. As you can tell, he's, he's done quite a bit of work to it. He's also got a really slick OBS that he's gonna bring to Carlisle 2020 next year. There's, there's a little bit of something for everybody from the lowered to the lifted crowd to the new to the old, but obviously we go because of the OBS trucks, but you can't forget some of the other stuff that's in the competition and some of the some of the work that people pour their heart and soul into on, on different trucks. So I figured I'd catch some of that. So this one really caught my eye, coming swapped uh, four door. Honestly, I don't know what year model it was to be exact because I was more drooling over how clean the truck was than asking the owner what year it was, but late 70s for sure. Now, those of us that like pickup trucks also typically like semi stuff. So I had to go check out the semi section and, and uh, I believe this was Hunter Hauling, I believe is the name of it. I don't don't quote me on that, I could be wrong, but they uh, they showed up to show out. Everything was polished, everything was washed. All the equipment was brand new cat equipment on everything that they were hauling. I thought it was pretty slick. They they had quite a bit of nice equipment some really nice trucks too. I mean, they, there's, they were not slacking on anything that they brought with them this year. Again, guys, sorry for the potato quality here of me jumping and moving around. It was first time experience filming on my own and trying to get it, stuff that y'all would like to see, of course. Obviously, I like heavy equipment, so here we are, focused on the equipment and hauling section. I mean, who doesn't like heavy equipment, I guess, really? Especially if you're into pickup trucks. This thing here was giant. Crazy what they, what they wind up bringing to the show. There you go, Hunter Contracting Heavy Haul. I, I knew I was close. They definitely had some really, really cool stuff. So I would highly suggest coming to, to Carlisle, especially 2020, it's gonna be a good show. We're gonna try and make it back up there this year. Um, leave us some feedback. Who would uh, who would all be interested in going and getting set up? We, we're always looking to expand it and make it even more more fun event with with more trucks and and get to meet more people and this is a great opportunity to meet like-minded people with with similar trucks so if you can make it out definitely make it out but uh as always thanks for watching our videos don't forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel and get all the latest and greatest content just as soon as we have it available